You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and today I have a new familiar face, Paul <laughs> hey. Angle from Brockton Public. How are you doing? I'm good, Mark. How are you? I'm great. Um, good things still continue yeah. to happen at the library on a regular basis. Yesterday I was sitting in my office doing some paperwork on the computer, and my phone was not ringing off the hook, but vibrating <laughs> off the hook because I think uh, about 12 different things got posted to the library Facebook page. That sounds about right. I didn't write them all down. I don't have all the dates, and you and I were just talking about it. But um, what kind of things are happening late August, early September? Well, we have a lot going on. Um, uh, we have a science, another science project going on. We have the, um, I believe it's a solar eclipse day. Mm -hmm. um, and we have um, a wonderful um, opportunity through uh, in, in the, um, I believe it's the end of August, the 26th of August, we're going to be participating in the D-BAM Festival. Right. Uh, uh, we're going to have um, an African dancer there named Sheffy and her husband. They're going to do a performance in the Driscoll Gallery. Okay. We're going to have a, um, uh, of course, we'll have an art exhibit up there as well. Uh, and the artist will be there to, um, to uh, talk about her art. We're going to see if we can have tours through the library to show off the, the, the uh, standing art exhibit we have in the library. I'm looking it up as we speak. <laughs> it's a good thing to have your phone right here. Right. It's a good thing and it's a bad thing, don't get me wrong. But the library website, the BrockmanPublicLibrary.org, yes. has a calendar on it called Event Keeper. Right. So everything you need to know about all the upcoming events is there. Is there, yes. Okay. Uh, people can pick up an old-fashioned phone and call 508-580-7890, which yep. is the main library number. I've never known the East and West Branch numbers per personally, <laughs> even though I've been a trustee for 20 years, because I usually always call the main number. Sure. Um, I'm looking at the Facebook, and I'm just trying to see what's on here, what just got posted yesterday. So... Um, there's still a summer bingo reading challenge yes, that's going is. on that's for adults. On. That's through September 5th. Yep. There is um, Everything is Art by Kalei, K-E-L-L-E-I-G-H. -E -E yep, that's going to be the that's going to be the exhibit in the Driscoll August Gallery. August 12th. Through, yep. And there's a library newsletter, so you can there find out everything you want to know in the library newsletter. And um, there's Makerspace August 29th. Yep, we do that um, we every We have Tuesday. the Makerspace up there. There's adult coloring on August 29th. There is Simba African Dance, mm -hmm. that's what you're talking about, August 26th. Digital photography with that's your right. DSLR, that's cool. Um, and Wednesday afternoon at the movies. Mm -hmm. uh, solar Eclipse, August 19th. And story time, which always happens, but yeah. on, on August 16th. And there's just, there's more than you can possibly imagine. And it's all on Facebook. Yep. Parkland and Public Library Facebook. That's right. And, there, and all the events are free. Well, as public libraries yep. events should be. Yes. So you were starting to tell me before we went on the air mm -hmm. that um, our friend Phil Hosaurus, who's been involved with the poetry group right. in Brockton for years. Right. Okay. Um, he brought a whole uh, event there with people with different brain injuries. Yes, the Brain Injury Association of Which was a phenomenal event. But here's a new one called Everyone Has a Voice. Yes. Tell us about that. That well, looks interesting. It is. It's going to be fascinating. Uh, Philip has started this. Uh, he came to me uh, a few months ago with the idea. So we've been fashioning this for quite a while now. Uh, Philip has reached out to, I believe, 11 or 12 poets in the area. And they're all poets of some international or national renown. Mm -hmm. And he's bringing them into Brockton, into the library. And he's pairing them up with students from around the area. The first uh, event is going to feature an internationally known poet, Reggie Gibson. And he's going to be paired with a Brockton High School student. Mm -hmm. And the two of them will, will, will present their poetry. And then after their presentations, we're going to uh, um, basically open the floor for anybody that wants to um, go up and express themselves in, in, a, in a poetic fashion. And you said that's year long. You're that's going to be the whole year. Yes, Start it's kicking off mid September. Kicking off, I think September. What did I say? Sixteenth. Yeah. And uh, and every I guess that would be every third Saturday of the month. Mm -hmm. The only break will be for April when he does his Brain Injury Association event. Okay. So that's eleven. Eleven renowned poets are going to be visiting Brockton. Uh, that's great during the year. What better place to do poetry than in a library where there are books with poetry? <laughs> Absolutely. Right? Okay. With libraries slowly but surely turning into the community center that that's right. they always should be. Yeah. Okay. You've pushed it. The staff has pushed it. Uh, we have some newer staff. Uh, Paula Jones is now yep. the head of adult services. Yep. And um, you're in the process of hiring mm -hmm. a new children's li children's library. Yes, head. I am. 
But the most exciting news, might have touched on it last time, I'm not sure. Sometimes I mix up uh, <laughs> doing an interview with a <laughs> trustees meeting, but whatever. <laughs> um, we now have a full-time um, adult literacy yes, coordinator. Yes. Is that e the right e title? Uh, ESL coordinator. ESL coordinator, uh, okay. And that is Melise Vega, and she is just already tearing the world on, uh, uh, on fire. She's got... She herself has a program through this grant that we were awarded through Eastern Bank, right. where she's running about a dozen programs this year. Right. And, and the first one, the kickoff one, I think I can safely say, is with uh, Mayor Carpenter will be speaking. Okay. And that's going to be a celebration of, of, the, um, of the diverse uh, immigrant populations in Brockton. Uh, not, not any one specific group, but all of them. So we're, and, and she's going to be having uh, lectures based on, on that and, and panel discussions based on that throughout the year. We're also going to be looking at capturing some uh, interviews with Brockton residents, immigrants. And we're all basically immigrants. Sure, yeah. And um, it's just exciting. It's a really exciting time, and uh, we're looking forward to, to that grant. I'll be going in front of the uh, 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 FinCom to, uh, uh, to, to ask for the money to be put into our account. I'm sure they'll say yes. Mm -hmm. And once that's there, we're, we're, we're going to light this up. Oh, I think it's great. And Melissa has done a lot of that work for years. Yes, she has. We're, while we're, being in a completely separate position, but still did that. Yeah, it, it, it was obviously this position is a labor of love for her mm -hmm. and a passion for her. It, it shows. And it's it's really, we're, we're finally recognizing Melise for, the, for all that work that she's done. And, and hopefully we're supporting her in ways that she will be able to expand on that work and, and, and just take it to the next level. So when we go to next year's OCLN Library Legislative Breakfast, maybe mm -hmm. we can show off yeah. Brockton Maybe we can even have the breakfast in Brockton. I know we're well, bidding for that. We've no, we we we've, we've been invited to host oh, it. Oh, we have. Yeah. Okay, oh, great. yeah. We're because we're in. <laughs> you and I go every place else, and I, I think it's about time we showcased our place. Yes, off, I, right? absolutely. And I know we've also even invited down the Mass Board of Library Commissioners because they meet all over the state. Mm -hmm. They've been to Brockton in mm, ten years, fifteen years. I think they came when we first opened. We'll get them back. We'll get them back because we want to see the good things that we're doing. Good things are going on at the branches. You know, mm -hmm. who knows down the road, maybe we're going to be so successful, we're going to get a whole bunch of grant funding to open more hours. Let's hope so. That would be my big push down the road because, you know, you get people that walk home or mm -hmm. take the bus home and the branch is right there. Right. Like especially on the east side, right in the neighborhood, the right. west side, right near the high school. And think about it, the schools close at a certain time of day. We're open. Yeah. We're open the other hours that they're not open. That's right. And then we're open on Saturday. and. Yeah. God willing, someday, maybe we'll even have <laughs> Sunday hours, you know, for four hours a day. Because, you know, the taxpayers, you know, they work 9 to 5, Monday through Friday, right. or whatever hours. No one has a set schedule anymore. But if we're open till 8, it's kind of hard to get there. You get home, you get dinner, you're trying to put the kids to bed, help them with the homework, mm -hmm. and how do you get to the library? You have a lot of library time people during the day that aren't working. Mm -hmm. There's plenty of stuff going on during the day. So... I got the one minute. That the means one minute. you get about forty-five seconds, and I get fifteen. Anything else you want to add? <laughs> oh, I don't. I, I that's really what I brought. I just um, uh, I want to add really that I'm 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 you know, fairly new into this, and I'm still having the time of my life. And I, I think the world of the library, I think the world of the the people of Rockin, I'm having just a, I'm having a ball, Mark. I'm just having a smile ball. on your face. So <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna bring you back exactly a year from today, and you're gonna <laughs> hopefully say the same thing. Thanks, Paul. I appreciate. <laughs> Thank it. you, Mark. Good to be on. Um, you're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.